with some advice for new developers on often unspoken truths of software engineering from someone who's been a developing software for a long time. After 25 years of doing software development, I have a lot of advice. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers. We take people with zero experience and help to train them to be ready to start as a full stack software developer in as little as three months. So I have some advice for new developers on often unspoken truths about software engineering from someone who's been doing development for a long time. So let's dive into some of this. So let's talk about college versus reality. College education in software engineering often lacks practical application, leaving graduates unprepared for the real world challenges. It's essential to engage in hands-on projects and learn beyond the curriculum. That's why we here at Startup Hack love to give you real world development experience, not just theory based. Project expectations. Unlike college, assignments, real world projects are complex, involve legacy code, and offer limited creative freedom. Greenfield projects are rare with software development, with most work involving existing, often cumbersome systems. Let's talk a little bit about the undervalued clean code. While important, don't expect accolades for writing clean code. The focus in the industry is on delivering user value and functional products, not just elegant code. I've often said that code belongs in production, and sometimes if we focus on just writing clean code, it can take forever to get the code out, whereas we just need to write some functional code sometimes and get it into production. Next, let's talk about dealing with incompetence. Now, this is our favorite task because as software developers, we often pride ourselves that we really think through things. So a lot of times we struggle with some that we might find a little incompetent in some of the business models. So contrary to popular belief, not all peers in the tech world are competent. Navigating through these challenges requires patience, diplomacy, and sometimes strategic avoidance. Next, let's talk about endless meetings. Being prepared for numerous meetings, some productive and some not. However, it is a requirement of the job. We do have to go to meetings as much as we hate them as developers. Effective communication is key key in getting these settings to keep projects moving. I found having a good agenda can be very helpful and then restating the meeting in an email afterward can often find that we don't have to repeat that meeting over and over again. The next let's talk about estimation pressures. Every developer gets really nervous in their seat when you start asking for estimates. Estimating a project timeline is a frequent and challenging task. The key is to under promise and over deliver allowing room for unforeseen issues. Unforeseen things always come up, roadblocks happen, but as a developer you've got to be able to learn to account for these as you're doing your estimates. The inevitability of bugs. Bugs are a constant in software development. They just are. As much as we try to avoid them, they happen. So expect them and learn to troubleshoot them effectively. Also, learn to write your code so that if a bug happens, it will catch and report that to you quickly and not quietly. One of the worst things to have happen is to have a bug in production that isn't reporting and becomes difficult to find. I always say finding it is half the battle. Uncertainty as a companion. Whether it's dealing with unfamiliar technologies or job security concerns, uncertainty is a constant in this field. Embrace it as a motivator for continuous learning. Don't ever stop learning and don't ever get complacent in your job. Keep learning, keep improving. The field's always moving. Let's talk a little bit about work-life balance. So disconnecting from work, especially in remote settings, can be really challenging, but it's super important. It's critical to establish boundaries for personal well-being so that you can avoid burnout. Also, this allows you to change your thinking sometimes. When I'm struggling with a hard problem, Sometimes I just got to cuss, throw down my tools and walk away for a few minutes. This being able to disconnect actually helps you to become more productive in solving tough problems. Soft skills do matter. So technical prowess is important, but soft skills like communication, teamwork, and emotional intelligence often determine career progression and job satisfaction. I used to have a developer who was so hard to work with that when he coded, he put on a stormtrooper helmet. I'm not making this up. He put on a stormtrooper helmet and it was his way of saying, leave me alone. So it was difficult when he had a stormtrooper helmet on and you really needed to ask him a question. You might worry that the blaster was gonna come out. So these soft skills are really important. In conclusion, while software engineering is not the dream job many envision it to be, it does offer a platform Form for innovation, problem solving, and flexibility. Understanding these truths is key to navigating a successful career in this field. So what are your thoughts about this? What parts do you agree with or disagree with? Leave your comments down below and I would love to discuss with you about your feelings around these. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers. We take people with zero experience and help to train them to be ready to start as full stack software developers in as little as three months. So make sure you check out the link down below or go to startuphack.com today.